Hey, what's going on folks? This is Christian, and if you're enjoying the content I'm uploading to the channel, then feel free to subscribe. Also, feel free to offer any suggestions on board games you'd recommend we review. Finally, if you're interested in joining our AOS campaign, then head over to our Discord and become part of the story. So I'm Barony of Lev. It's going to be interesting. So obviously I've got a lot of fleets. Well, the idea behind them is to have a lot of fleets. <sighs> I'm not going to go for Prime. At least not yet. Normally go straight for Prime, try to get it. But did that last two games? I think I'm not going to do that now. Hmm. I gotta watch out for. I've got the Necrovirus playing as well. Tech wise, and he's got wormholes directly to, not directly, but close enough to me. I'm just going to play by it. I also need to build up a strong fleet. That's my goal, and I'm just going to see how I go from there and see what objectives we can obtain. And if we need to kick off some people, so be it. As the Goblin faction, uh, this game, I've not really got much of an idea how they're going to play. They do a lot with action cards, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Um, I, I got two very aggressive factions either side of me, and then Josh opposite me. Um, is very expansionist, so I think I'm going to have a lot of trouble because they're all going to be at each other's throats and I'm probably a lot weaker than those three are militaristically, so probably try and make a few alliances or deter people from attacking me, make it worth their while to go after somebody else rather than myself, um, but yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Okay, so I'm playing the Necrovirus uh, for this game today. I'm pretty much going to try and use a lot of my resources early to uh, expand, get lots and lots of dreadnoughts. Next to my starting planet there are two warp holes, so I've got pretty good uh, range for a lot of my destruction and taking over of uh, other people's ships and technology. I'm going to try and see at some point maybe if I can form an alliance with someone who can just feed me ships so I can gain lots and lots of free technology. Okay, so my plan is nice and simple. I can get to Mechatol in turn one. My carriers can move two, and then I can add a third one with flank speed so I can get on there. I can then use my infantry to just build up a pathway from my home world to Mechatol, and then all the double worlds that are around mine and just build quite an empire. I need to get the... Um, the necrovirus to start using those wormholes and take out Chris and John up. Uh, hopefully they'll ignore me. That's kind of the plan, don't know how it'll go. But the um, plan is to be expansionist and aggressive in turn one and two, and then just hold.
so Josh is this close, two points, two points away from winning. So yeah, not great, not great at all. I've got, <laughs> Mummy and Sarah have got like one victory point each. I think John has got three and Josh is on eight. I think he slips under the radar very much. So we're basically coming up with a plan now. I think I'm just gonna have to take his home world and hold it. I, I've just got to. And is this turn actually could potentially win? And I think it's actually, that be the quickest game of Twilight Imperium if Josh wins, that would be very hard. About four hours, three hours, which is insane. But, so, my goal's still quite far away, clearly. I'm slowly getting there, building a force, all that jazz, but yeah, it's gonna take some time. <sighs> Interesting times. Okay, so nothing has gone right this this this, this time. Nobody wanted to uh, make a truce. Nobody was feeding me any ships. No one has sent me any resources. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and one of the uh, decisions that destroyed a couple of my ships on a wormhole. Uh, I've got a vendetta for green now. So, uh, so yeah, those ships are going to die. So the plan's worked so far. I've got Mechatorex and building up those victory points. I have a secret objective which hopefully is going to work in my favour. If I get three ships on Mechatorex, then I won the game. However, they think that I want uh, two ships adjacent to Mechatorex, so they're going to try and keep the blockade up whilst I just hoard my ships in Mechatorex and hopefully just survive. So that's my plan. I'm not sure I'm going to pull it off because it'll be suspicious that I've got ships moving around Mechatorex, but uh, I think I've got a good chance if I activate Imperium, then at least I've got one victory point for the rest of the game. So I've just got, as long as the game takes to get that one, and I'm about six or seven victory points ahead of everyone else. So, things crossed. Josh is two victory points away from winning. He's got the Imperial card, which basically guarantees him one victory point this turn. Um, as long as he plays it before he holds Mega Turex. If he decides to be greedy and hold on to it to try and get the two victory points in this one turn, it might not work out for him because everybody's gone in for his um, the gun in for Megatorax and also gone in for his home planet as well to stop him from scoring any more victory points uh, so what he should do is if he's not too greedy he should just play the Imperial card on his first turn before he has a chance to lose Megatorax which will just sit him on one victory point away from winning the game until we end um, and there's some really, really achievable victory points there for him that we can't really stop unless we take his home planet. So there's one that is, he has to own four specific types of technology and he's only one away from that. Um, and there's another one where if he ends the round with a ship in two systems next to Megatorex, then he wins. So yeah, everybody's gunning for him at the moment. I think Sarah is going after Megatorex and the planets are, and the systems around it um, and then Chris is going straight for his home planet to stop him scoring victory points. I'm pretty weak, I can't really do much. I have an action card which is plague action card which should hopefully destroy some of his ground units on the Torax which will help it but my problem is Sarah is coming very very close to me and I haven't focused much on producing a fleet yet so I know if she has the opportunity she's going to take advantage and um, so I just need to be very careful about that because this turn I've got the opportunity to research three technologies and every time she wipes out one of my ships she can rob one of my techs so I understand that's going to be very appealing to her and um, so I just need to be very careful about that. She's also sat on a wormhole that links right into my system um, so I've taken warfare to stop her from doing that this turn but hopefully the distraction of Josh potentially winning will keep her from you move will make her move the ship she's currently got sat on the wormhole before she sends them through. I don't have to use it for that, but yeah, we'll see how it goes.
it's funny, it's quite difficult. It's the first time playing without actually gunning for Mex or Rex and holding it. Normally, you finish the games on around about nine, eight points. This time, finished it on around about, I think, in fact, I think it was about four, four victory points. But I think one of the laws I ended up pushing back, regardless, it was more challenging than I thought it would be. So, it's something to take on next time. But no, it was a great game as always. Oh, to start by the background of the loss, but it was a really good game and definitely up for the next one. So yeah, I didn't win. I think I got like one victory point out of the, out of the entire thing. Um, yeah, didn't manage to do anything that I wanted to do. Put giving away the virus, the antivirus, was stupid. Uh, that basically meant that the only person who was near me was the blue and they had the antivirus and they were the only ones that I could attack so don't give that away next time um yeah I really don't think there was anything else that I could have done there was a lot of dead space around my board with two wormholes one blank space and only like single planets whereas everybody else seemed to have like lots of double planets right next to them uh so my resources were low nobody wanted to form an alliance <laughs> my trade resources were low uh, low mobility and no one to assimilate technology off meant I was really, really far behind. Uh, so Josh won. I finished second by quite a long way behind him. And then I think it was Sarah and then Chris, or the other way around. Uh, basically, uh, like I said in my last one, Josh was one victory point away from it winning. Um, um, we were all supposed to spend our last turn or the last round, making sure that he couldn't win. Um, but unfortunately, Sarah decided to pick the wrong card, <laughs> which meant that Josh could get his hands on. He either needed to get the technology card or he needed to get the uh, Imperial card uh, to win. Um, Sarah was speaker, so she got first pick at the cards, and then Josh was second. Um, I had a card that stopped him from choosing one, um, so the idea was that if Sarah picked either Imperium or Technology, um, then I would play a card stopping picking for the other one and he won't be able to win. Unfortunately, she decided not to pick that, so we got one of them, no matter what I did. Um, yeah, and then there was nothing we can do. We had to go attacking his planet, um, but I had to go attacking his planet, but I didn't have the ground forces available in the vicinity to beat him. So yeah, he won. Hello there. The plan worked. Everything went as I had foreseen. I, I overestimated some of my opponents because they came very close to matching my level, but um, I'm just operating on a different level. You know, my, my brain's just firing at 100 miles an hour and they're just jogging at 20. You know, I've got two degrees and this is where it comes in. This is where it plays off. Sometimes you just need to know your place and uh, hopefully they know where that place is now. Um, I feel bad for them, you know, a little bit embarrassed, um, but, uh, but alas, I am the champion. Goodbye.